Hello, my name is Torsten Hoeffler. I'm a professor of computer science at ETH Zurich in beautiful Switzerland. And my main research interests revolve around very large-scale computations, so-called high-performance computation. And the idea of these computations is that we really solve the largest challenges that we have at humanity, trying to solve particularly computational demanding problems. One of the options for solving these problems in the future may be quantum computation. A device or a computational idea that really promises to speed up classical computations. And this is the content of this paper where we look towards quantum practicality on real machines in the future. A quantum computer is a compute device that takes advantage of uh, physical properties of quantum mechanics in order to solve computational problems. So these physical properties that are making the quantum computer especially powerful is superposition, such that qubits can be, with a certain probability distribution, both in a zero and a one state, and entanglement, such that there are certain correlations between these qubits that can live at the same time in these states, or virtually at the same time in these states. These properties of entanglement and superposition allow new algorithms to be invented to exploit quantum computation. These algorithms can solve the same computational problems with much less operational intensity. In other words, quantum computers require less qubit operations. And what we concretely do in this paper is that we look at the, um, a specific device, an, an NVIDIA A100 GPU chip, as a motivation for a classical computer, so a device we can buy today, manufactured by TSMC in the seven nanometer process called N7, versus a hypothetical quantum computer that may exist in the next decade with a very optimistic, with lots of very optimistic assumptions on that quantum computer. And we compare these two devices. And the main conclusion is basically that these quadratic algorithms that I mentioned before, quadratic speed up algorithms like Grover, are not providing enough speed up to provide a computational benefit for real problems. So what this paper says is that we have to be careful when we design these algorithms to focus on the right speed up regime. And this is especially important for theoretical computer scientists or uh, designers of these algorithms to not just focus on the asymptotic speed up, but also focus on the, um, the constant speed up. Find out more in the review article, Disentangling Hype from Practicality on Realistically Achieving Quantum Advantage in the May 2023 Communications of the ACM.